there, it's Rachel Palmieri in Melbourne, Australia. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. And I started making Christmas cards this week. Um, since I bought lots of paper while it was on special in October, I thought I'd better cut it and use it because there's absolutely no point in hoarding it. So I've put out um, one of each paper, both sides, in the size that I cut for card fronts that aren't mounted. They just go straight onto the cover and we make a basic card. That's 10 centimetres by 14 centimetres. The paper is called Heartwarming Hugs and it was at 15% off in October. It's only $20 a packet for 12 double-sided sheets anyway and they're 12 by 12 so you get a lot of cards out of each sheet of paper what would you get you'd get um, six from each one and six 12s is 72 I think so it's quite a lot of cards if you're just doing a basic one these pieces that I have across like a belly band are just what's left over after you've cut two pieces 14 centimetres long. Um, so I cut my strips 10 centimetres, the full length of the paper, 14 centimetres, 14 centimetres, and you've got this left. So you can use it as a belly band across the centre, just for a little bit of interest, or you can actually cut it in half and use it for trimming the inside of the card. Um, I will finish these off with a strip of white paper, white card, and um, half a strip of the coordinating paper. Um, I'm sure I'll find some. So um, I used a set called Warm and Toasty, um, purely for the cuteness factor. Love this reindeer that looks like he's smiling. And... These are pretty jolly too. Now, I didn't think I would use him, but he's actually turned out to be one of my favourites. I actually can see that you could easily uh, mask the skates and he could just be in shoes and it depends on the orientation, uh, what it looks like he's doing. He could be dancing. You can't get around, around the fact that he's wearing a scarf and hat, but... Maybe we could do them in footy colours or something. Um, you know, just a bit of an issue that it's hot down here for Christmas and every the majority of the world seems to think it's cold. So Now the one I had the most trouble with was the mice because they're very tiny. And so I've only made one of that card and it's probably my least favourite. This is the reindeer and I've used a variety of shapes to mount these on. Uh, Fussy cut this one out but raised him up and put him onto a stitched circle. Those were on a stitched oval, all the various sizes and whatever. The stitch shapes are one of the labels that you really do need to have in your set. Here I've just used an off cut of white and added sharing Christmas Yule in. Um, and the polar bear is quite easy to colour. You really just need a little shading around the edges here. Uh, I did go over the boots with um, more black because I didn't really get a solid enough colour. And I kept the colouring on his scarf and hat fairly simple. I wasn't as keen on this colour reindeer. It seems a bit um, auburn. And this one was one of my favourites. And I'm going to show you how I did that. Um, it's easy. And I used another stamp set for the greeting for that one. Um, which was it? Wrapped in Christmas. 
And this one is using the off cut from that circle. And I just filled up the space with more bits. So then this morning I thought about how can I do it with a different paper and I have the coming home suite which I haven't used until you know half an hour ago and I made the same card with um, a few differences I suppose but I've done absolutely no stamping on this card so if you only had the paper you could quite easily replicate this one and then to use up the off cut I have made a housewarming card for my son who went had a walkthrough of his new house yesterday and hopefully will move in in the next few weeks so I've got the trees that are on the mountain behind him his house isn't blue it's brick but you know and I managed to find um, words for happy and home in the paper. Now it may not be called coming home. I've just said that, but what is it called? Trimming the Town Designer Series paper. And it has these big houses. It has lots of words in many languages. So I've taken home from here. Um, it has big scenes and then it has this on the back. Um, you could fussy cut out the church or any of these shops or houses if you wanted to use them as well. There's teeny tiny houses. That could be quite cute. Oh, the other side of that is a lovely starry scene. And spots are the other side of the trees. And I was going to use the spots, but in the end it seemed more logical to put the trees. So... Um, I will slide a few things aside. Now, did I mention that there's dies with this stamp set? So, you can use the dies, or for a simple little house like that, it's quite easy to cut around. But I am going to bring the die cutting machine across to cut out the circle, so I will pop it through and if I'm not happy with it I'll do a bit of a trim with the scissors um, and I may use that I'm not sure yet and that's the stamp set now I've seen quite cute kids cards done with the cars and I may well decide to do one of those too at some stage now let me see how am I going We're not doing that one, we're doing this one. I'll pop that one out. There, can you see? Yes. And I have to bring across the die cutting machine. So I don't really study where I put it. I just put it on the circle and really it should only be about a half. Because once the curve starts coming down again, it's um, a bit more awkward. Um. 
another plate. I hate it when they fall on the floor because I often do not find them again. So I'm popping down to get it. Ow. So there's the spotty one. I, I've got an idea for a kid's birthday card, but I think that um, I may need to... Um, he's a basketball, no, soccer fan. I knew it was something with a ball. And I'm not sure whether I'm going to just put stars or try and get a soccer ball or something. Um, yeah, so I thought with this one, I'll keep it pretty basic, but I will use the linen thread that I used on that one. It was a nice touch and you know you could use a piece of um, ribbon too, thin ribbon. Probably wouldn't want anything too bulky. It's just a different way of um, dressing it up. <laughs> this linen thread we've had for ages and I'm glad they keep it because well not only can you dye it if you want to with the um, pens blends <laughs> you can also do it with the marker or your ink pad or any other way that you choose, actually. Does this um, spot remind you of Minnie Mouse? Does me, anyway. You sort of can't go wrong with spots and stripes, though, can you? They're um, great patterns. Another way you can restart this when it um, you lose the end is to just take it back over something that's already sticky. Now we just need some dimensionals on the back. It wasn't dimensionals. I'm not going to hold back because um, it's only DSP and it might sag in the middle if it doesn't have enough support. But that will probably do it. Now you're going to have a look at your other papers and see which you could use for this little technique. It's just a fun little layout, isn't it? Now, if I pop it there, I haven't quite sorted out what um, greeting I was going to do, but I cut them off in strips. And of course there's a lot that are... Um, in German and um, French. I'm wondering if they're possibly also in Dutch because we do sell to the Dutch market. I've got Peace, Love and Joy here. I might go with that one. I have got um, a new French pen pal though and 
that um, Stamping Up kind of uh, started a little page for us to, to get pen pals. And I got a couple in Canada and one in Lyon, France, who informs me that she's just been locked down for the next six weeks due to coronavirus. We've only just come out of our lockdown, so I sympathise with her, but um, I'm sure it's for the best. But um, yes, I'm sort of thinking of how I could uh, make a, a French Christmas card this year. Kind of need other greetings as well though, like birthdays and maybe Easter. So I guess if they could do it with the papers, that would be fine. Oh look, it fits right underneath. I wonder if that's a nice option or not. Now, do you think it needs a tree? I've got a few of these little ones left over at the moment, so maybe we should not waste them. The other side of that one is the stripe. I like, I like stripes for boys. So I know that um, I'll be able to use these papers even when Christmas is over. I think that's a good thing. Same as this one that I was showing you, the heartwarming hugs. I can't see why that couldn't be you. Well, really, none of these are specifically Christmas. They're kind of Christmassy colours, but they're not um, absolutely dedicated to the season. The colours in them are Mossy Meadow, Pear Bazaars, Real Red and Whisper White. So, there's a nice red and white stripe there too. Maybe my fussy cutting isn't quite as good as the dye, but I didn't want to bring the dye cutting machine back over when I've now got the table covered in bits. And we need the little dimensionals on these. I suppose I could have just glued him straight down. I haven't even tried out where I'd like to put him. I think there. Now, I was going to show you something else because, and I forgot, I kind of just went straight past it. Okay, where's my polar bear gone? So there's those two. I, I really can see lots of variations for that. Now, just let me move that a little bit. When I was looking at this stamp set, I thought, well, I'm not going to use warm and toasty. So that, that's going to be a little bit wasted. And I used mainly sharing Christmas cheer. But I was having a look and I thought, well, why can't I take the Christmas from there and just put it above the wishes to you and do a mix and match? So there's a couple of ways that you can do that. And I have some paper here for stamping on. So if you don't want to be too messy, well, you could do it where you, I don't know if this will, okay, so I got a little bit of ink on the top of cheer down below, but my other idea was that we would um, just, Uh, cut the strips, the two strips, and use them. 
so then it wouldn't matter. I was just going to have a go and see if I can match it up. You sort of can, but it's um, a wee bit messy. I'm going to clean it off because I'm going to stamp in red now. So I've got my wishes, wishes to you, and then that's given you the option to do them in two different colours as well, which I think is always fun. Um, you might want to neaten up the cutting. I had this one that I hadn't done a great deal with, so I was thinking it was like so and like so um, I quite like this font here I think it's um I guess you'd say playful yeah there's no reason you couldn't have cut these on your trimmer as well if you wanted them dead straight or We'll see if I can get them any better than I've got them. Oh, there. How would that go? I don't know. Anyway, um, I expect I'll be doing more Christmas cards over the coming weeks because if we don't get onto them in November, they won't be ready for posting in December, will they? All right. Bye for now.